Welcome in, hockey fans. This is Today in the NA. Vinny Paraselli here to get you ready for the division finals as we are down to the final eight teams still in contention for the Robertson Cup. We saw a couple of upsets in round one and a couple of one seeds need five games to advance to this point. We'll dive into the playoff picture in just a moment, but player development is our number one priority in the NAHL. Now let's honor the latest NCAA commits. Cade Groton of the Springfield Junior Blues has announced his intentions to play college hockey at Hamilton College. The native of Ashburn, Virginia was the captain of the Junior Blues and played in 48 games this season, lighting the lamp three times and finishing with 13 points. New Jersey Titans defenseman Eric Mnookin will be playing college hockey at Endicott College. A native of New Jersey, Mnookin has scored four times and added 17 assists in 46 games this season. In his 93-game NAHL career, Mnookin has scored eight times and has 36 points. Groton's teammate Ryan Murray will be playing college hockey at Hamline College. A defenseman played in 37 games this season, scoring once and adding seven assists. In his 71 career games, the Prior Lake Minnesota native logged 11 points. Minnesota Wilderness forward Aaron Myers has made a commitment to Bemidji State University. From Thief River Falls, Minnesota, Myers played in 57 games this season and contributed 17 goals and 50 points. He was named to the NAHL Top Prospects event back in February. He was a part of the Select's red team. Jackson Noss of the Kenai River Brown Bears will be playing college hockey at the University of Wisconsin River Falls. From Wayzata, Minnesota, Noss played in 57 games this season, scoring seven times while adding 11 assists. He played in 104 career games, and during that time, he has led the lamp 13 times and finished his career with 28 points. Stepan Picorni of the Aberdeen Wings will be taking his talents to Ferris State University. The forward from the Czech Republic is in his first season of juniors and had himself a tremendous year after posting 25 goals and 54 points. Picorni spent time in the NAPHL a season ago where he was named an All-Star. He also has three points through his team's first four playoff games. After a tremendous first round, we have reached the division finals. All four number one seeds are still in play for a shot at the title, while a pair of number two and three seeds look to shake things up. In the Central Division Finals, we've got the last two representatives going head-to-head. -head. Minot looks to make it back-to-back -back appearances at the Robertson Cup, while the Wings are trying to make it two trips in three years. Aberdeen won eight of the 12 regular season meetings, but the last two postseasons have proven that the regular season really doesn't matter as each team upset the other as the four seed in the Central Division in 2018 and 2017. Game one of this series is tomorrow, with game two following on Saturday. In the East Division, the top seeded Johnstown Tomahawks had a bit of a scare as they were forced to a decisive fifth game by the Northeast Generals. The New Jersey Titans, on the other hand, have played three straight elimination games and survived them all to get past the Jamestown Rebels. It was the third seeded Wilkesbury Scranton Knights that represented the East last year, and the Titans are hoping history repeats itself. In the Midwest, the Fairbanks Ice Dogs will be attempting to reach their third Robertson Cup tournament in the last four seasons. The last obstacle in their way are the Minnesota Magicians. Fairbanks dominated the last couple of games with Minnesota, but the Magicians have been better as of late, winning their final two games against Springfield by a combined score of 11-3. The Dogs only allowed two goals in three games against Janesville, so we expect this series to be a low-scoring affair. Finally, in the South, we've got the defending champions going up against Amarillo. The Bulls may have dropped their first two games against Corpus Christi, but they have stormed back to win their last three, taking that series three games to two. Meanwhile, the Bud Bugs needed triple overtime to get past the Brahmas in Game 5 to advance to the South Division Final. This series may come down to who's got more left in the tank. Five tough games for each squad heading into this one, and not much rest for the weary as this series kicks off tonight in Amarillo. We are just two weeks away from the start of the Robertson Cup. Get your hotels and rental cars booked now. Log on to RobertsonCup.com for everything you might need in Blaine, Minnesota. Be sure to follow the NAHL on social media throughout the division finals and log on to NAHL.com for up to the second scores. Join us next week here on Today in the NA as we'll be even closer to deciding the four teams that will play for the Robertson Cup. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Vinny Paraselli. See you next week. <laughs>